welcome to instrumentation knowledge today our topic is terms used in control valve here we start what is cavitation cavitation occurs in control valve in liquid service it happens when low pressure of fluid cause bubbles form and then and then bubble claps first the liquid evaporates to vapors and then the vapor bubbles collapse cavitation happens in control valve when there is variations in flow velocity and also occurs when the pressure drop in the valve exceeds critical point cavitation can damage control valve trim parts but also damage piping and other instruments what is choked flow choked flow known as critical flow choked flow is a point which increase the pressure drop at fixed upstream condition the flow rate will never increase with increasing the pressure difference between upstream and downstream of valve the conditions can occur in gas steam or liquid service choked flow occurs in liquid service when the fluid in cavitation or flushing conditions what is coefficient flow coefficient flow or cv is the capacity of control valve flow passes through the valve provided a stable control the number of us gallons per minute at 60 degree fahrenheit that will passes through a valve with pressure drop of 1 psi here is we are have a formula gallon per minute is equal to cv coefficient of valve under root delta p divided by specific gravity what is control valve gain the gain of device is defined as the ratio of change in input change in output to the corresponding change in input control valve gain is relationship between valve travel and flow rate through the valve it described by a curve on a graph expressed as an installed or inherent characteristics what is installed characteristic of control valve the pressure drop across the valve will vary as the plug moves through its travel when the actual flow passes through the valve is plotted against valve opening that's called installed flow or installed characteristics what is inherent characteristic of control valve the inherent characteristic of control valve is the characteristic published by the manufacturer based on test performed in a system where great care is taken to ensure that the pressure drop across the test valve is held constant at all valve openings and flow rates the inherent characteristic therefore represent the relationship between valve flow capacity and valve opening when there is no system in effects involved here we have a graphs uh, the pink line shows the inherent characteristic and purple line shows the installed characteristic what is bellow seal bonnets a bonnet which use a bellows for sealing against leakage around the valve plug stem what is control valve trim parts the parts of control valve that are directly connect with flowing process is called control valve trim parts here we are discuss we have plug seats stems they all are trim parts of control valve what is control valve flow characteristic the relationship between valve capacity and valve travel there are two types of characteristic inherent characteristic and installed characteristic valves can be characterized by the shaping in plugs or kits here are some three types of kits quick opening linear and equal percentage what is gain the relationship of input to output 
if the full range of the input is equal to the full range of the output then the gain is one gain is another way to describe the sensitivity of noise what is close member the movable parts of valve which is positioned in the flow path to modify the rate of flow through the valve some of the different types of closure membrane are the ball desk gate and plug what is vena contracta the point where the cross section area of flow stream is at the, its minimum size and flow velocity is at its maximum and the fluid pressure is at its lowest level is called vena contracta thank you very much for watching our video